check out the end line, guys. Cristiano Ronaldo to be sentenced to 99 lashes for touching a single woman. Her name is Fatima Amani. Well, of course, you can see the woman is physically challenged. Apparently, the woman, a painter with 85% of her body paralyzed, 85% of her body paralyzed, and she's a painter. And uh, she painted Cristiano Ronaldo. She tried so much. She painted Cristiano Ronaldo because she's a really great fan of Cristiano Ronaldo. So while Cristiano Ronaldo was doing his uh, humanitarian services, this woman was brought. And uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has to show a lot of compassion and love, you know, towards this woman. Cristiano Ronaldo is not from Iran. And Cristiano Ronaldo was certainly invited to come to that place. He didn't come there on his own. So. He was invited to come there, and of course, he has to show some compassionate uh, love towards the woman. So you mean Cristiano Ronaldo cannot lean forward to hug and even kiss the woman on the cheek? Just to show solidarity, appreciation, and love? Really? And now, Iran... Uh, Sentence Cristiano Ronaldo to 99 lashes for touching her. <laughs> it's crazy. This has of uh, there are some crazy news out there that we just read and be like, Ooh. but I know it's highly impossible though. How can you sentence someone that was literally begged to come to United Arab Emirates to come to UAE to come to UAE? Uh, sorry, to come to Saudi Arabia. To start playing football, someone that was literally begged, paid huge amount of money every year, more than two hundred million uh, million US dollars. You want that person to be lashed ninety nine times for touching a paralyzed woman, a physically challenged woman. Well, I dare you guys to go back to Ronaldo and say you want to trash him. I dare you. Well, guys, uh, do you think that is possible? Do you think that is possible? That uh, it might be possible that Ronaldo being sentenced in Iran for touching one of their women, a single woman, just maybe Ronaldo might show that, okay, he's the kind of uh, human being, footballer that abides to the rules of revolution and respect the the rules and regulation of uh, countries respect their culture and practice, and because of that, they will just abide, you know, as a form of solidarity. And, uh, abide, go to Iran to receive 99 lashes. I can bet you, even the citizens of Iran will protest. We protest in support of Ronaldo uh, not to be trashed. Well, see, rules and regulations uh, of a country are meant for selected people. They are not meant for everyone. Even UAE, Dubai, are to bend their rules and regulations so that they can attract investors. UAE, Saudi Arabia are bending their rules and regulations on a daily basis so that they can attract investors, attract international people to come and stay there. Stay in Saudi Arabia. I think that is the main purpose of paying so much money to footballers like Ronaldo. That's the main purpose of paying so much, 200 something million pounds to, to, to just one single human being. That is the reason why. So if Saudi Arabia can pay their money, this is the end of the sale. Not that it's divided, say, okay, let me use that word. They have their own rules and regulations that they are abiding to is meant for their citizens and not just only that is meant for the low class citizen the rich the famous will do this and get away with it nothing will happen to them so it's meant for some selected you know, persons not everybody but if like i said for now they want to show some form of solidarity show that okay he's a kind of footballer that is obedient Spare the culture of other countries, then it should go to Iran and receive 99 lashes. <laughs> go to Iran and receive 99 lashes. And again, as you know, he's the top scorer. 
top scorer in 2023. He's even ahead of Haaland and El Mbappe. I'm not seeing Messi here. No. Ronaldo is currently the top scorer at the age. At the age of 30 something, Ronaldo is still competing with these young boys, Haaland and uh, Mbappe. Of course, you guys will say, oh, they come to uh, PSG or come to Manchester City and uh, score same goals. Goals with the same pitch, the same uh, uh, post, goal post, with the same thing, with the same 11 versus 11, with the same one keeper versus another keeper. It's not as if the Ronaldo posts are always empty. And it's the same thing. So I won't use that one to judge. Ronaldo now is the top scorer, although Messi, I still feel like Messi is still the like, greatest player, but Ronaldo is the top scorer now, so I'm going to give him that. So I don't want anybody to come like, oh, he's not playing in those top league. It's the same thing, the same 11 versus 11, the same goal versus a goal post versus a goal post, the same pitch. It's not as if a Ronaldo pitch is smaller than the one they are playing, if they are using it. Champions League, Premier League, or Serie A. No, it's the same. Also, I want to roughly touch this very exclusive story about uh, Jada and Will Smith. Well, I know two women called Jada. Whiskey Jada and this one Will Smith Jada and Whiskey Jada is a very good girl, uh, wife, loyal girlfriend, loyal baby mama, now the loyal wife. And I know for sure Whiskey Jada is not this kind of Jada we are about to discuss. This is uh, Jada Smith, popular actress and also a wife to the popular superstar Will Smith. And of course, you know, a few years ago, Jada cheated on Will Smith. Yeah, cheated on him. And not just only that, he cheated on him with another person who was really, really close to them. Really, really close to them. So the issue now is that recently, Jada had an interview. Not even an interview, she decided to write a book. She published the book and uh, she also did some interview promoting the book. And some of the things she revealed was that herself and Will Smith went their separate ways seven years ago, but they decided to still remain married because divorce was not an option for them. They just wanted to find what makes them happy, you know, stay away from it. Not stay away from each other. They were living separately, living their life separately, but they were still married or living separately. Now, the only issue now is that Jada came out to reveal this data secret. And just two years ago, Will Smith slapped the popular comedian Chris at the Oscar Award. Will Smith stood up and slapped Chris because Chris was making fun of or cracking a joke about Jada. And Will Smith stood up and gave him a dirty slap. And Will Smith said, Get your get your mouth off my wife. So I say, get my wife name off your mouth. So the whole entire story now is that so you knew you were separated already from this woman like five years ago, as I then know, five years ago. And you still were standing up to defend this woman's pride, to defend this woman. Despite knowing for a fact that you are separated from this woman, Will Smith was still being a very good husband and defending his wife, Jada. 
even after the whole thing, there was a show that show with Smith crying. White Lady was interviewing him about her cheating. Will Smith was doing. Will Smith was the one doing the crying. Why Jada was the one. <laughs> Why Jada was the one confessing. Why Will Smith was the busy doing the crying. Well, and again, Jada has made it known that Tupac will definitely always be a soulmate. So now the anger is towards me with Smith. How could you love a woman so much that sees you as a nobody, that disrespects you, that doesn't honor you, that doesn't honor your privacy, that will look down on you, that will sleep with any man even without blinking? Not just people are not even that are referring to us, that just the the coldness of Jada, like she does, she don't, she doesn't care. She doesn't care about Will Smith feeling. And Will Smith still riding with Jada, still riding with her, still riding with her. So I don't really know what exactly do Jada have that's making Will Smith still agree. Not they can still agree not to get a divorce, or, but they can decide. Whitney can decide to be the bigger man and you know still act like a real man out there because the entire world men are extremely angry with Whitney for tolerating Jada for so long with this disrespect. Jada has been the one revealing secret upon secret upon secret. But Jada was the one that confessed to Will Smith that she cheated. <laughs> please, uh, please. Uh, I think this whole entire story about Will Smith and Jada, I think it's a eye opener because all men need to learn. Don't ever, don't ever be Will Smith and don't ever marry Jada. Don't ever be Will Smith and don't ever marry Jada. Because with me, it was a second option to Jada. If Tupac was there, if Tupac was alive, Jada would have married Tupac. Yeah, and Jada would have left with me. With me was a second option. With me wasn't even an option. Jada would have found another person and still married that person if Will Smith didn't pressure Jada. Right? Because if she would reveal that she wasn't having any emotional attach towards Will when they got married. And the Will still remain being willing to give and give and give and give, still remain really happy on camera, you still this fake horrible smile from a man called Will. Fake horrible smile. Honestly, I, I, I doubt if any of Will's smile is real. Or Will can just, maybe Will is the one doing the bad guy, you know, living his life, doesn't really care. And now Jada really feel pissed about it and decide to speak out. You know, man, do not talk, but they are the one doing most of the damages. And Jada is the one making, monetizing, and gaining a lot of wealth from this whole entire story. It's crazy. I've been reading about it, and I really think something must be definitely wrong somewhere. Something must be definitely wrong somewhere. You know, all those people are breaking the boundaries of what marriage really, really looks like. Or what marriage should ever be like. No, they are breaking the boundaries. This is not the new standard of getting married. This is not the new standard of tolerance. No, no, no. We will never accept that thing. This uh you in the in, in the world of uh, getting married, we will never accept that. That's not the new standard. Nobody should ever come out to say, Oh, after all, Will Smith and Jada were a very successful company despite going their separate ways and they're still remain married or maybe later if they come back 
to each other, to start being faithful to each other. Then we'll say, oh, it was a love story. There is no love story about that. It will never be a standard for couples. Will Smith and Jada will never be a standard for couples. And I, I, I refuse to accept that. In the, in the now and in the nearest future. I refuse to accept it. <laughs>